lure guys brother rob here evangelist rob of rob woods ministries guys the one thing the lord will never share with nobody not his blessings not his love not his compassion the lord's always willing to share that but the one thing he will never share with any man woman that was ever born or will ever live to be is his glory i've seen this before and Boy, I tell you, it's, uh, let me just give you a quick over, overview, a story. I was sitting under the ministry of a powerful vessel of the Lord. And they, before the meeting started, they told the people before the prophet comes out. I started saying, I don't know if I like that. He might be a prophet. But anyway, they were saying, you cheer for him. Let's start practicing now. Cheer for the prophet. I said, this man's getting too big. God may have to clip his wings. Do you know a year later, that man left the earth? And I was thinking there were many great men and women of faith in the 50s and 60s with those massive tent revivals, those healing revivals. Guys, many of them didn't finish like they start. I could go down the line, Amy, Amy Simple McPherson, Catherine Coleman. A. A. Allen, William Brannan, Alexander Downey. Some of these some of these men on the on their deathbed thought they were Elijah the Rest. How does this happen? One guy died. They said when he died of an accident, his head was twice as big as it normally. You've got to be careful of the three G's for the guys. It's the girls, the gold, or the glory. Idolization in the body of Christ is over with. The Lord's turning tables on this. Now, before I continue, be an honor. If you're new, please subscribe Monday nights. Monday nights, live stream, YouTube, 9 p.m. East Coast time. Thursdays, 8 p.m. live Zoom. I will pin the ID and the passcode in the comments for the live Zoom. Also, I'm on TikTok now. You can follow me up with that also. In the comments, Lord, keep me humble. Never want to become a professional, successful Christian. Just want to be a vessel that's used by you for your glory. Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 8. First of all, how many agree with me? Hit the amen button, the like, the thumbs up. If you see, if you've seen this or you see this. But Isaiah 42 verse 8 says, I am the Lord, that is my name and my glory. I will not give to another or my glory i will not share with another nor my praise to graven images deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 15 deuteronomy for the lord your god is a jealous god is god threatened by man he's not threatened he's never intimidated he knows who he is. He's sure. If you ever want to read about the throne that God's on, the sure throne, Revelation chapter 4. But he's a jealous God for your heart. And he wants to make sure you have no other lovers. Doesn't mean you can't be in a marriage or a relationship. It talks about any other gods with a little g before him. For the Lord your God's a jealous God among you, lest the anger of the Lord your God be aroused against you, destroy you from the face of you. Listen, I'm telling you, I've seen this. It freaked me out when they started telling the people to practice when the man came out. I says, I don't like this, but in any event, praise the Lord. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 5. You shall not bow down to serve to them, nor serve for I, the Lord God, am a jealous God. So I'm telling you, the one thing the Lord will never share, yes, he'll share his blessings, salvation, healing, financial, blood, yada, yada, etc. But he'll never share his glory. If you are being used by the Lord or desire to, and people start to give you the accolades, the praise, the worship, you better brush that off. And sometimes men, men or women set themselves up for this. Their motives aren't pure. Their flesh gets in the way. Sometimes the people want an idol like the people wanted a king and they got Saul. Just some thoughts. The Lord bless you guys in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah.